Hey there, it's Ash from Elementor. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to use WooCommerce dynamic tags on your website. We'll be building this pop-up, which will be populated using dynamic data, all pulled straight from our WooCommerce products. To achieve this, we'll undertake the following. We'll first create and configure our pop-up. Then we'll populate it using various widgets, columns and sections, many of which will display data using dynamic tags. And finally, we'll set our display conditions so that our pop-up shows when a user tries to leave the website. Elementor makes displaying dynamic data extremely straightforward. If you need to familiarize yourself with this feature, you'll find a link in the description below to our dedicated tutorial. We'll begin in the WordPress dashboard, then head over to Templates, Pop-ups, and add a new pop-up. Give your pop-up a name, and then select Create Template. Dismiss the library, and then select the gear icon located in the bottom left corner. We'll set the width to 70VW, and entrance and exit animations to fade in and fade out. Now add a new two column section. Set it to full width and then amend the padding on the first column. Drop in a heading widget. Amend the text. Alignment. And typography. We'll add in a divider image. And next we'll drop in another heading widget. And this time instead of manually amending the text, we'll set it using dynamic content. Select the dynamic tags icon and scroll down until you see product title. Open the dynamic options by selecting the wrench icon, select all, and then search for your product. Now set the alignment, color, and padding. Add in another heading widget, and again select the dynamic tags icon, and this time choose product price. Select the wrench icon, and search for your product. By default you will see both the normal and sale price. We can amend to show just the sale price by using the Format drop-down. If we now open the Advanced tab, you'll see that we can enter text to display before and after our dynamic value, as well as fallback text. In the After field, enter a space, followed by forward slash, space, per, kg. Once you've done this, set your alignment and typography. Now search for and drop in the custom Add to Cart widget. Search for your product. Amend the text. Alignment. Remove the icon. And then in the Style tab, adjust the typography. Normal colors. Add a border. Border width, border color, border radius, and then set the hover colors for this button. To continue styling our pop up, we're going to set the background image of the second column to automatically display the product image. To do this, select the column, then go to Style, Background, and choose Classic. Select the dynamic tags icon, choose product image, and then search for your product. Set the position and size. Okay, that's looking great. Let's now check out our design for tablet and mobile devices as well. Open responsive mode and then switch to tablet first of all. We'll set each column to take up 100% of the available width first of all, which will stack them on top of one another. This would look better if the image was placed on top, 
So select the section and then open the Advanced tab and head to the Responsive area. Here we can amend the columns so that they reverse. Let's do this for both tablet and mobile devices. Now drop a spacer widget into the column and set its height. Lastly, amend the padding on the second column. Switch to Mobile View next and make any necessary amendments. Once finished, close Responsive Mode and now let's style the Close button. Select the gear icon and head to Style, Close button. Set the normal color, hover color, and size. Now that we've finished creating and styling our pop up, it's time to publish and set its display conditions. Select the Publish button and then choose Add Condition. By default, it will show across the entire website, and this is what we'll leave it as. Next, select Triggers and activate On Page Exit Intent. This ensures the pop-up appears when a user is about to leave the page, hopefully enticing them into purchasing a product before they go. And finally, to ensure that our pop-up isn't too intrusive, we'll set advanced rules to display only once. When finished, save and close, and now your pop-up is ready. If we now visit our website and act as if we're about to leave, you can see the pop-up fades in and displays our offer. Utilizing pop-ups on your store can be really beneficial in both promoting products and engaging with your customers. By using this helpful elemental feature coupled together with WooCommerce dynamic tags, you have a powerful toolkit at your disposal to drive more sales for your business. Thank you for watching. Be sure to comment below with any questions and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more amazing courses and tutorials.